and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a stri strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Well, having grown up on a farm in Nebraska, I was, I'm well acquainted with the different types of climates that can affect a farm, most especially wind, heat, and dryness. However, I recall back in 1994, we were having quite a wet spring and summer. And the result of that was that our wheat, the straw, was very, very thick. There was a lot of extra. So my dad and uncles kind of pondered different ways of getting rid of the excess straw. And they ended up saying, well, why don't we try this new method, this burning off the stubble. So they were excited to try something new, something they had never done before. So they got everything ready, prepared the field. The fire marshal came out and kind of helped us get everything arranged. And when everything was ready to go, my dad got on the tailgate of one pickup and an uncle on another, and they headed down the field with the torches. Now, I had heard about how fast fire can spread. You see videos growing up in school, but I'd never got to witness it firsthand. Well, once they started down the field, I was standing back, kind of getting to observe. All of a sudden, the wheat just went woof. In about three minutes, 80 acres of wheat stubble was reduced to smoldering ash. I wish I had a video of it because it really was quite a spectacular thing to witness. It was just incredible to see the power of fire. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us rejoice today. Pentecost is upon us. Today in our church, all throughout the Catholic world, we celebrate the feast of the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles. He descended upon them 2,000 years ago in the upper room, but he also today descends upon each and every one of us. He descends upon us to fill our heart with God's love. So open your hearts and receive God's love today. The promised other advocate, which our dear Lord Jesus Christ promised us, has been sent and continues to dwell among us in the church. The Holy Spirit is the most mysterious, elusive person of the Trinity. To try to understand, to try to grasp who the Holy Spirit is, it's like trying to catch wind in your hand. Who is the Holy Spirit? Our Catholic faith tells us that through his grace, the Holy Spirit is the first to awaken faith in us and communicate to us the new life, which is to know the Father and the one whom he has sent, Jesus Christ. Our faith, in our faith, we like to use symbols to try to help us understand and grasp mysteries, especially the mystery of who God is. It's, the mystery, it's these symbols that help point us towards the hope that is fulfilled in God himself. The symbols of the Holy Spirit are many. Water, fire, anointing, cloud, light, seal, hand, finger, and dove. The Holy Spirit is the animator, the one who awakens faith, who sets faith on fire. It's the Holy Spirit who is the love exchanged between God the Father and God the Son. Now, today, we have that very love, the love exchanged between the Father and the Son being poured into our hearts. On occasion, I like to sit down during the evenings and watch, in moderation, of course, home improvement shows. And on many of those shows, you'll see someone buy a house or go in to help somebody renovate a very old house. And typically, and most, they'll find different hidden treasures throughout the house, whether that be old hardwood floors that are covered up with carpet or stained glass windows in the basement or some nice woodwork that had been painted over or wallpapered or something. Well, once they finally restore it and bring it back to its old glory, the people always have this comment like, huh, I can't believe I had that hidden in my house. That's great. Well, the fire of the Holy Spirit 
The gift of his presence awakens in us the gifts that God has placed there in our baptism. As receivers of God's life, we are gifted with full access to the heavenly sanctuary. But it is the light of the Holy Spirit that opens our eyes to the abundance of the gifts that God has given us, the gifts that we now possess. The most primary one of those gifts, our faith. It is our faith which contains who God is. It's our faith that gives us hope in the life to come. And how does the Holy Spirit unlock our gift of faith? Through the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today at this Pentecost Mass, put everything you have at the foot of this altar today. Any, in prayer, hand everything over to God. Anything that burdens your heart today, anything you're worried about, anything that just constricts you and doesn't allow you to love fully like you're capable of loving. And then open your arms and receive the Holy Spirit. Like the wheat field with too much stubble, let the fire of the Spirit burn off that excess from your hearts so that the love of, that you may love God and your neighbor fully today. Let his fire enkindle in you a desire to know God and a desire to be with God. My dear friends, once you open your house, your hearts to God, once you let the fire of the Spirit set you ablaze with his love, your life changes forever. You will want more and more of God. You'll be truly free to love God. Your heart will feel lighter, your steps more alive. Your mind will be clear and free of burden. God is inviting you to let the Holy Spirit set you on fire today. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth.